On Saturday, Leha Bata Promotions will hold its latest fight at Cowboys Dance Hall. If you need a boxer to root for, then you want to pay attention to Miguel Flores. He's an undefeated boxer from Houston who is fighting for much more than just a title belt. He's fighting for his older brother who died from injuries sustained in the ring. I think about that. I've seen his, the day he passed away, and I'm like, man, I'm about to be his age. And it's always pressure, man. People expect so much from me because I'm the younger brother. Every fighter wants to be a world champion for themselves. Not me. I want to be a world champion for myself, but also for my brother. I didn't let that hold me back. You know, of course, it gets you down. You know, it makes you think about, like, man, do I really want to do this? Do I really want to, you know, risk my life? Fights later, man, she, she was still, man, brother, don't do this. I could get you a job. I could get you a job with my husband. But it has to be love for sport to a certain point because uh, I could have had the easy way out, took the back door and said, man, you know, that's, that's it. Uh, I quit. And if anybody had a, had a right to say and I quit, it was me. That's all. And you can take a little step. Now, feign on the way in. Don't walk. There you go. With these veteran guys, they'll try to walk you into something. My nephew, my brother's kid, uh, he's, he's turning eight in July. I try to keep him away from the sport. If one day in the future he says he wants to become a boxer, i am got to support him because my brother did it, my parents did it to me. I have to. But right now, man, like if he tells me, let's go to the gym, I'll take him. It's like a kid. You tell him no, he's going to want it. And my last fight, I was pretty pretty beat up, man. I had a swollen eye. Picked him up from school, man, and, and, and I had glasses. And uh, teacher said he was a little, a little bad that day. So I told him, hey, you want to be a boxer? And he looks at me like, no. I was like, then you better be good in school, you know. Cause you don't want this. Like I said, I love my sport, but it's hard. It's not for everybody. Do you hear messages from your brother on that spike? Over? I'm thinking about him the whole time. I try to tell him to guide me through. Like, brother, man, help me get through this one. Sometimes I'm like, man, don't make mom suffer this fight. You know, let it in quick. And then, you know, sometimes I feel like he helps me. I feel like he guides me through every step of the way because that's what I did with him. I mean, I found for my brother, my nephew, man. I want him to have a better future. I want him to go to school. In order for, for him to do that, man, I have to be, you know, be a world champion and be able to support him all the way through.